David, thank you. Now to breaking news tonight. The Hamilton County District Attorney dropped the criminal charges against a man seen in a video being punched by a police officer. Kylie Thomas just spoke to that man's defense attorney moments ago about these latest developments. She joins us now live to tell us what will happen next. Kylie. That's right, I just talked to Robin Flores, who is a private attorney here in Chattanooga, and he says that they are still going to file a lawsuit against Chattanooga Police Department and the city for excessive force. He says that his off office is also looking into two other police officers who failed to protect his client. Just go ahead and take a look at this video. You can see an officer trying to get the driver, Frederico Emanuel Wolf, out of a car with his gun drawn. You can see the officer officer punching Wolf several times. Wolf was originally charged with resisting arrest as well as other charges. And according to the police report, Wolf was originally pulled over for speeding. Police say that they saw him draw, uh, throw drugs out of the car as well. But this afternoon, the DA's office dropped those charges against Wolf. Flores says this is a win for his client and the community as a whole. It's a civil conspiracy. Um, theory in which that the three officers conspired um, not only to br commit these you know these violations but also uh, taking steps to uh, cover it up so you would say this is a cover up well that's going to be our out that, that'll be the claim tells me that he is going to work to put together that civil lawsuit right now. He says that CPD broke both state and federal laws. Reporting live in Chattanooga, I'm Kylie Thomas, News Channel 9. Kylie, thank you. This is not the first time public outcry has changed the outcome of an arrest. Late last year, charges against a man were dropped after a video showed a Hamilton County deputy punching him while he was on the ground and in handcuffs. This video went viral on Facebook last month. It shows Hamilton County Detective Blake Kilpatrick punching and kicking Charles Tony while he was in handcuffs. The DA eventually dropped the charges against Tony that were tied to this arrest. Deputy Deputy Kilpatrick was suspended. The Department of Justice is still investigating. Despite those criminal charges being dropped, the 